I want you to be very quiet and listen to the greatest discovery and secret in the business. This is mind-blowing. It explains why everything happens. Everything happens. It's called imprinting. Not duplication, imprinting. It's the greatest secret in discovery, and I was a biologist. I studied biology, had a master's in biology, and I, so, you know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're like that, you never get rid of it, right? So there's this thing that's just very intriguing and foul. Nature has given them a mechanism to survive and to be okay called imprinting, where uh, in their genetics, they copy the mother and the other birds when they're born. And they learn to do everything. Genetically, it creates actual ne neural pathways in their brain by copying. If they don't do it, they don't do it well, or they can't do it, and they don't survive. And it, they become lower in the pecking order. You ever hear the pecking order? Those that don't imprint well and do it well, the other chickens or ducks or geese peck on. You get them out of the way. Okay, so when you bring somebody into the business, listen to this and think about it, especially you guys. Really, I want you to really concentrate on this. When you bring somebody in the business, the way you bring them in is the way they will do it, even if it's wrong. Even if you sit them down and teach them, even if they go to seminars, even if you tell them every time, I know I did it this way with you, Pam, but tonight we're not going to do it that way because it doesn't work and it's wrong. They will still do it the way you brought them in. It's imprinted. They always fall back. Gary, they always fall back into the pattern. Always. It takes so much to not be a chicken. So when a chicken is born, <clears throat> it's in an egg. It comes out of the egg and it sees its mother. Its mother is right on top of it. You guys are supposed to uh, cool it until I go through this. <laughs> the mother is all over the baby chicken. Only one egg hatches at a time so that this can happen. It's timed that way in nature. They don't all hatch instantly at the same time, maybe several minutes apart, but not at the same time, so that it can imprint, and the mother bonds with it. So now the chicken gets up. And it follows the mother chicken. You ever see uh, uh, chicks with the mother? They're all around her. In no formation, all confused, but all right underneath her, right? You ever seen this? And so the mother goes, peck, 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 peck. And that's how they learn how to eat. And they all copy it, right? Then the mother has the little chicks follow her in no formation, just a cluster all around. Wherever she goes, there's a bunch of little chicks running around. The roosters follow the male uh, dominant rooster and they copy it. The rooster goes, cock a doodle doo! cock a doodle do to chase the rats and cats away and to define its territory. Have you ever seen this? So the little roosters learn to do the same thing. But nobody's in any formation. It's all confusion. It doesn't really matter because all they're there for in the end is to lay eggs and to be eaten. So they push them all into the coop and the chickens all follow the mother like this in a group around her, pecking, they're always pecking, you notice, into the coop. True or false? 
Okay. They don't know why it's that way. They don't know how they learned it. But it helps them survive. And they get along and they get food until they're eaten or lay eggs. Because that's their purpose. True or false? They don't know how they learned it or why they're doing it. It's just the way it is. Okay, so see how close the mother is? She's pecking the eggs because they're ready, and the chick comes out. They all don't come out at once. And look at them, how they're bonding. And she, they're going to start to imprint and copy exactly what the mother is doing. And it goes into her brain, and that's how they become a, a grown-up chicken, <laughs> by following and copying the mother. They learn how to peck, how to get the food. Is this making sense to you? Okay, watch this now. So here's all the chickens in your coop, okay? They all now know how to peck. The pecking order is who imprinted the best and follows the mother. And when they go around, they go around in a cluster, all disorganized, pecking, getting the food, but pretty safe because they're all together. You agree? That's chicken imprinting duplication. They're very disorganized. There is no formation to them. There's no organization. There's no line. They're all over the place. But they're in a coop, and of course that helps them escape being attacked. It works. Everybody follow that? The way it works with chickens is there is no order. There is no formation. There is no V. There is no organization. It's just a cluster something <laughs> until they get eaten. Sorry, that's how a lot of you came into the business. <laughs> the rooster, and every group has a rooster in it. They don't do anything. They don't produce much, but they protect the group. Cock-a-doodle-doo, do it my way. I'm the leader. Cock-a-doodle-doo. They're not holding any meetings. <laughs> They're not doing the no decision close, Andy. They're not doing the valuation approach. They're not doing the trial runs. They're not doing the pattern. But cock a doodle do <laughs> There you go. Okay. You don't want to be a chicken, right? But you can't help it if you're a chicken. Oh, by the way. Did you know chickens can fly? Put that one. Chickens can fly, but they don't know it. And they do not imprint. They don't teach them. They can't fly far because they're fat. But they can fly 16 feet to 18 feet. They don't fly, though. Why? Because it wasn't imprinted. OK. So we don't want to be a chicken. But we may be chickens already. It's unfair. It's, just, it's your sponsor's fault because they were a chicken. And maybe theirs was. So we got to forget it and start over. Okay, so here's what happens. Come in, come together. There is no formation with chickens. But see, when you're born, okay, and we come out, you see me. And that's how we learn to eat. We can't fly, we can't swim, so we just stay in the coop, right? Yep. Okay, now, ducks. So when I come out as a duck, there's the mother duck, and the mother duck goes like this. Quack, quack, quack. And that's how it learns to eat, and quack. Did you see that? Okay, 
So, we never practiced this before. <laughs> but they learn to follow the mother. So when the mother goes, they follow in two lines. That's how they learn to eat, quack, quack, quack. And then they're in formation. See that, they learn how to eat. Then they follow the mother down to the water. Quack, quack. And she starts swimming. They copy the mother. They imprint. Then they learn how to fly. And what happens? Have you ever seen ducks do this? They get in formation, and the mother goes like this. <laughs> Until they catch a breeze and fly. And they fly in formation because of safety and it creates an uplift. It makes it easier. Ducks can fly in formation for a couple hundred miles to go where the food goes into warmer weather. It's not a true migration, though. There are ducks flying in formation. They learn how to fly. Those are your stable people that are trying to go now, that you can get going. They're definitely not chickens. Making sense? Now, geese, geese are much more sophisticated. When they come out, they too eat. Honk. Honk. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> and when they walk, they walk in almost perfect V formation. Binary. Watch. Honk. Honk. Very eloquent. <laughs> then she teaches them to fly, and their wings are big. <laughs> then they take off. How did they learn to do it? They don't know how. They simply copied the mother and don't know any other way. They don't know how to be a chicken. They don't know how to be a duck. They only know how to stay in formation and to be eloquent. They can fly 1,000 to 2,000 miles because in the binary formation, it creates an uplift, an aerodynamic current, an uplift to make it 70% easier to fly. They always have the best food. They have a change of climate. They have a language. And they're living the life. But they don't know any other way. They don't know how to be a duck. And they don't know how to be a chicken. And they will always go back 
to the way it was done by the mother or the lead bird. The next season, they'll come back and have more eggs. And one of the birds that flew it leads the way on the same path. Your leader. And there's two Vs. You following this? This is absolute science. So in a business, if we do it like a goose with a hundred names, two a week, no decision closed, have to three, see it three times, evaluation approach, not to get them in. When we eat, we do it like a geese, only to see if they know the right people. And then they evaluate it to see if they know the right people. And in that formation, until we get there, and we will fly every year eloquently in formation. <laughs>